In this tutorial session, we are going to discuss two operators, comparison and logical. Here is a list of six operators. First is the equality operator, which is an equal sign for equal to. Then we have the inequality operator for not equal to, followed by four more operators. The greater than operator, greater than or equal to operator, less than operator, and less than or equal to operator. Each of these operators are used to compare two values, then evaluate both values. After evaluating the values, the interpreter will return true or false. In the IDE, we can write print, then compare our values such as 10 and five. The comparison operator is placed in between both values. Something I learned from my kids with their homework, helping them, alligator is the bigger number. The comparison operator is the alligator. 10 is a bigger number. Therefore, this statement is true. Run and bingo. We see true in the console. Let's compare some more values. How about print? 12 is greater than or equal to 34. Print. 1 is less than 1. Print. 15 is less than or equal to 15. We can also compare strings like print. Python is equal to Python. Also, let me put that back. Print. Python. My typing is not going good this session. Python does not equal to Python. Okay, so now let's run. The console returns true, false, false, true, false, true. <laughs> so we already covered 10 is greater than five. So that's true. Next is 12 is greater than or equal to 34. And the console returns false. The alligator is eating the smaller number. That's why we see false. Next is one is less than one. That's false because they are not, they are equal to each other. So one is not less than one, it's equal to one. 15 is less than or equal to 15. We see true because 15 is not less than 15, but it is equal to 15. So that's why we see true. The strings show false and the true. The first set is false because they are not equal to each other. Python on the left has an uppercase P while Python on the right has a lowercase P. Now, the second set of strings return true because they are not the same. Have you noticed something? The difference between two equal signs and one equal sign. Starting out, it can be confusing because in math, the equal operator means equal to, but in Python, two equal signs means equal to. What helps me to not get confused is two equal operators in Python are comparing two values and asking if they are equal to each other. That's it for comparison operators. Now, now <clears throat> let's take a look at the logical operators. The purpose of a logical operator is to combine more than one expression. We can also say one conditional statement. There are three logical operators, and or not. And returns true if all statements are true, or returns true if one of the statements is true. Not returns the opposite. If the result is true, then not operator returns false. That's interesting. 
and I'll show you. In the IDE, we can print 100 is greater than 50 and 100 is greater than 34. The interpreter will evaluate from left to right. First, is 100 greater than 50? Yes, so that's true. And is 100 greater than 34? That's also yes. Therefore, both statements are true. So the console returns true. If I change one of these comparison statements, like 100 is less greater than 50 to less than 50, then the result is false. As a result, we see false in the console. It's false because both of these statements must be true. For the R operator, only one of these statements must be true. For us to see true, we will run. And bingo, the console shows true because the value that is true is 100 is greater than 34, although 100 is not greater than 50. Now, I have something else to show you, and that's the not operator. The not operator reverses the result. However, at this point, we have to be careful because our code can be confusing. For example, if I write not in front of 100 is less than 50, someone may think the code is referring to the complete expression, but it's only re referring to 100 is less than 50. To refer to the complete statement, we must add a parenthesis in front of 100 and at the end of this statement. Now it's comparing 100 is less than 50 or 100 is greater than 34. So the code is saying this, is 100 less than 50 or is it 100 greater than 34? After running the previous statement, we saw true. Therefore, this statement will return false because not true is the same as false. Run and bingo, <laughs> we see false. Let's do one more statement and make it a little complex by adding and 100 greater than 95. Do you have an idea what the console will show us? The not operator is referring to 100 less than 50 or 100 greater than 34. 100 greater than 95 is separate. For the AND operator, both conditions must be true. They are not true, so the console shows false. <laughs> That's it for comparison operators and logical operators. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to connect, follow me, and subscribe. Plus, click the bell icon, and I will see you in the next session.